and walk in the victory God has given you today yes. and every day of your life. Amen. It's not a one day God has given you the victory. God has given you the victory every day. Wow. So we have to. It's extremely important yes. as we walk in that victory. Amen. amen and amen. God will see us because Hallelujah. it's a lifetime work. It's not a once time done deal. Amen. 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 So who you are in Christ, ladies and gentlemen. You know, um, that just sets us up for our rolling right now. We're going to have, who we're going to have? Alfonso Freeman. Our, is our featured soloist. Okay, Very and he soloist. is um, Morgan Freeman's son. Some people out there may not know that, but Alfonso Freeman is a really good friend of mine, and he's just a blessing. And he's going to bring with, uh, he's going to sing New Mercies. New mercies, New praise mercy. God. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It just all goes yeah. together. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that that wonderful. <laughs> Alfonso Freeman. Coffee cup, I gotta thank you. 
you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. New mercies I see. Hallelujah. The name of the book is what? Who We Are in Christ. Who We Are in Christ. And you know, Alfonso Freeman, um, beautiful. Mm. New Mercies just really went with that. Yes, really it did. Well. Hallelujah. You know, you Perfect. may be out there and you may not know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. And we're here today to tell you that today is the day of salvation. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And, um, you know, like I said, this book was just simply awesome, Who We Are in Christ. And Pastor, I just want you to maybe take some time and maybe lead someone to the Lord, and they may not know Jesus Christ as their par personal Lord and Savior. Praise so God. what would you tell someone out there? I would tell someone, and this book fits who we are in Christ, because if we knew who we were, mm -hmm. we wouldn't do some of the things we would do, we wouldn't go some of the places we go, Amen. and we wouldn't allow some of the things that we allow. Yes. When we know that we're royalty and that we're a part of God's family, if we knew who we are and who we belong, you know, sometimes we have family pride and we'll say, Joneses don't do this or Smiths right. don't do this. That's right. Well, if we know who we are in Christ, we know what his kids don't mm -hmm. do, mm -hmm. what God yeah. kids don't do and how they don't live and what they don't go for. So we need to know and claim our place in him and walk in the inheritance that he's given. He's given us freedom. Amen. He's already delivered us from Amen. slavery. So we would think someone unwise to walk back into yeah, slavery when the right. door is open. Yeah. So this is your opportunity to walk out of whatever slavery you're in. If you're a slave to yeah. debts or worry or grief or whatever it is that seems to be plaguing you or you're tied on to family, kids, all these other things that are catching your attention, God has given us a key. Amen. And all we have to do is open the door and come yeah. on out. Yes. He's the key. And today, if you're tired of whatever it is that you've been going through, are you realizing you feel there's a void? I'm telling you, that void that you feel can be filled by nothing but Christ. Amen. That yeah. emptiness you feel can be filled by nothing but Christ. Amen. And when you recognize it, you have someone that says, if you come to me, I'll take all of your burdens. Yeah. Amen. If you, he said, take my yoke upon you. He said, my yoke is easy. You know, and he said the burdens are, are, are light on us if we just take his yoke. Amen. So if he said, you come to me, I'll take all that other stuff you're dealing with. I'll take care of your kids. Amen. I'll take care of your finances. Amen. I'll take care of your worries. I'll take care of your boss at work. Amen. All Amen. you need to do is come to me and That's rely true. on yeah. me. Amen. So I'm telling you, this is the day that you need to put your hand out and just reach forth like the woman with the issue of, the issue of blood. And touch him with your faith yeah. and say, God, I want to be changed. Amen. So right I now, I want to be cleansed. Yeah, so right now, that's what I want you to do, ladies and gentlemen. Just if you want to bow your head, if you want to touch the television, yeah. you want to get on your knees, whatever you may want to do, and just pray with us right now. Amen. Amen. And right now, just say, Dear Jesus, Dear, Dear Jesus, Jesus, forgive me of my sins. Forgive, forgive me of my, my sins. sins. Come into my life. Come, Come into, into my, my life and save me. And save, save me. I believe. I believe God. God, God you raised. You raised Jesus. Jesus from the dead. From, from the, the dead. dead. Just for me. Just, just for me. me. And I receive you. And, and I receive you as my Savior. As my Savior. Savior. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And so if you pray amen. that prayer with us Hallelujah. right now, our number should be coming up Glory. on the screen. Amen. amen. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. And give us a call and let us know. You know, pastors. Um, 